So I will be right back. Okay, well, that was a quick 45 minute going to the physical therapist. I had surgery on my foot in October of 2020, and I have been recuperating from that, and it has been quite the pain in the butt, and I'm really lucky to be able to get into the stores and see what they have because my foot is starting to feel about, I would say probably about 20% better than it was I am at least kind of hobbling around, but um, I hope to be feeling better really soon. So now I'm going to finish checking out this jewelry and then I'm going to be doing some more shopping. I decided to get those little kitty cat earrings and then I decided to pick up these as well. Well, while I was gone, I hope that they did some restocking. So let's see what they have that's new. All right, well, let's check out the vases and the candles are on this aisle.
So recently I have added a floral print to my bedroom and I thought this face would be really cute. My bedroom is just a little bit more softer in feeling. I just love the way that it feels when I wake up in the morning and it just feels so good to be in a room that just feels light and airy. Then I came across this really beautiful vase. It just reminded me of a mermaid, but I absolutely loved the colors. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine this on a dining room table along with some beautiful flowers in it just shining through the window? So now I'm gonna check out some candles. I thought these were super cute and would look beautiful in my home in Montana. check these out. Now I think these are quite the steal. You could definitely put them inside of your picnic basket and take them along with you to drink wine or some champagne. Well these little baskets are just perfect to put your fruits and vegetables in. So this little box I thought was so super cute. It had a couple of metal balls in it that you just rub together in your hand and kind of roll around. It helps you get rid of anxiety and exercise your fingers. And then up next, I found this really cute little Raggedy Ann. I grew up with Raggedy Ann and Andy in my bedroom. If you guys had it in your bedroom, leave me a comment below and let me know. I always thought she was so cute. So let's see what else this aisle has to offer. So after I was done with that aisle, I came around to the glass aisle and I found these really beautiful glasses. So let's check them out. These champagne goblets are absolutely gorgeous. They are crystal and they say the year 2000 on them. I can't believe 21 years has gone by since the year 2000. Boy, time sure does go by fast. So as we check out these canisters, I just have to tell you guys, you really have to make sure and look in the canisters. It's not something that I usually look in, but recently I found some really beautiful things and I really think that it's worth looking. Sometimes people just skip over it and I'm definitely not going to do that anymore. So I checked out that basket. They didn't have too much in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check out the art. 
So you guys know by watching my channel that I always go through the art. I actually make a lot of money off of the art that comes from the Goodwill. I find a lot of original prints. But then I came across these pieces and this was the first one that I found. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. The picture on it shimmers in the light as you can see. I really hope that you guys are able to see that. And then behind that piece was this one. And I thought these were actually the most beautiful pieces that I have seen in a while. And I say that like every single time that I find a piece but I actually did not get these and I have regretted it ever since. So I really hope the next time that I go in that I find them. So up next, I found this hammock and I actually have a hammock in my home that I use to cover a sofa that my wife and I built to put on our patio last year. And now we have it inside of the house and it's a great way for me to store things under it and have a great place for my cats to actually sleep. So the fabric on that is really durable. But anyways, I'll quit rambling about that and let's check out this scarf. I think it's simply beautiful. Wow, wasn't that just a really cute bag? So up next, I started looking at these chairs and thought they would be so cute on a patio. And then I suddenly got distracted by this little um, book that has postcards in it. So I really think that the artwork inside of this is definitely worth getting. I set it down because then I got distracted by these chairs and I really want to find something comfortable for my mom. So I started checking these out and I think that they are going to sit a little too low. So I definitely have to pass on these today. So sitting right next to these chairs, someone had left this piece of art um, laying down and so I picked it up and I saw that it was Noah's Ark. So I pulled it out and I really hope that you guys are able to see it but check out all of the animals and check out the scenery of this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think about it. What do you think? I think it would look beautiful in a baby's bedroom. So now I'm gonna go up front and I'm going to check the windows. They always put pottery and other pieces up here for display. And I spotted this little piece. I thought it was so cute because it looked like a basket on the top and then pottery on the bottom. I'm not too sure about the color. I do have a lot of that kind of green in my home or kind of that green blue, and maybe I can use this in my kitchen. So this is definitely going in my basket. So I see that they actually are rolling out some more clothing. So let's see what they have on the cart. Well, what do you think? Would you wear it or would you not wear it? I definitely would wear it. I think it's so super cute. And then they actually had this really beautiful robe on there. It's silk and it is absolutely gorgeous. If it fit me, it would definitely be going in my basket. I definitely need to manifest something like this into my closet. So I'm gonna check out and we're gonna go ahead and head to the other store.
So the other location in Beaverton is a little bit of a smaller store and a little bit more expensive, but I always find great pieces in here. I always find great antiques. I always find a lot of art. And so I am really excited to see what they have today. Wow, this piece is so beautiful. It feels like a vacation in a picture. I believe these are definitely from the same artist and definitely worth purchasing, but they will definitely become someone else's treasure for their home. So up next, I think this is actually in Yosemite in California. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are doing that little fairy garden area, and think that you need some art for that, I would definitely suggest that piece or if you're doing the cottage core. And then I thought this was really appropriate and would be so cute in my home in Montana. I did find a couple of other pieces, so let's check those out too. So I hope you guys are enjoying my video and you guys have been leaving me comments about how fortunate I am to find some of the beautiful things that I have in my area. And yes, I am. We are so rich in culture and I feel very fortunate. So as you guys can see, I absolutely love elephants and this is definitely going home with me for $13. Yes, ma'am, it sure is. And as you can see, I have a couple of dresses in my cart and you guys will be able to view those at the end of the video. So earlier in one of my videos, I found a little skunk and then I found this rose and then it has a little saying on the back of it. I thought that was so super cute. Somebody must have gotten rid of their rock collection. So at the other store, I found Raggedy Ann, and now I have found Raggedy Ann and Andy. So I just had to show you guys, someone must have had this collection in the local area and gotten rid of it, maybe an estate sale that donated their items to the Goodwill. So let's see what else they have down this aisle. I'm always looking for crosses and I thought this was super cute. It is for the 25th anniversary for a wedding. And then let's check out some of the brass and silver. So 
So I always love to check out the wood aisle and see what it has. And today this is what I discovered was this toucan. And you can definitely see all of the different colors of wood that is in the front. And I believe this was just a few dollars and I think it would add a lot of really great dimension to any room. And then up next, I found this really heavy, heavy bowl. This would be great for the fall with some dip and some chips or definitely some different kinds of nuts. I think it would be really great for entertaining. Well, there's not very much in the way of baskets. So then I turned around and I spotted this piece and I turned it over and saw that it said $54. And then Goodwill is selling it for, I think about $6.99. So pull the cap, yes, that's what it is, is a lantern. I think that's so super cute, but I would never pay $54 for that. Boy, you just never know what you're gonna find at the Goodwill. So then I came across this cute little bowl. So I spin it around to see if there's any chips or anything in it. And I think the color is really pretty. I wish it was a whole set because I would definitely use those in my kitchen to serve soup, salad, or maybe some cereal in the morning. So this is an antique piece and the women would put it on their dresser and just put their lipstick right in the very top up here. So the lipstick would stand straight up and they would just store their lipstick colors in there. And I thought that was a really clever way to be able to do that. But I could only imagine the other things you could use it for. And then I picked up this piece. I think it's supposed to be maybe a bird feeder or something like that. I'm just not sure what that piece was, but I thought it was really pretty. And then I came across these candlesticks. So let's check these brass candlesticks out. So for about the last five minutes, I've been hearing the employees count down that they are closing. So this elephant piece is definitely going home with me. And then I'm going to run down here and give you guys the rest of the things that I am purchasing today and go ahead and do the remaining portion of my haul. So I am going to be getting this dress. I have seen it in the store quite a few times and I think it's really pretty. I hope that you guys do too. Make sure and leave me a comment and let me know. And then I'm also getting this blue piece. I think it'll be really fun for the summer and I can't wait to wear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out. I'm super excited to get back out in the big beautiful blue sky. And I'm really happy that you guys came along on this adventure with me today. So make sure and subscribe, like, share to your friends. And until the next time, have a great evening.